Hi everyone, it's the Math Sorcerer here with Chegg. In this video, we're going to discuss logarithmic functions and their graphs. Let's start by doing an example where we sketch a logarithmic function. We have f of x equals the natural log of x minus 3. And we're also going to find the x-intercept, the domain, the range, and the vertical asymptote. Solution. So the first step in this problem is to draw a rough sketch of the natural log of x. So the natural log of x looks roughly like this. Here's the y-axis. Here is the x-axis, so x and y. And it has a vertical asymptote right along the y-axis. The equation of that asymptote is x equals 0. And I'm going to graph it here in blue. It looks something like this. And it does go up forever, and it does go down forever. And it, it gets closer to the axis going down. So let me just do that again so it's really clear. It looks like this, and it gets infinitely close to that vertical asymptote. And it crosses the x-axis uh, at the point 1, 0. All right, so based off this graph, we should be able to graph our function, which is the natural log of x minus 3. So whenever you subtract a number from the x, you're going to shift right. In this case, we're subtracting 3, so we're going to go right 3. Let's go ahead and draw our function here. So here's the y-axis. Here's the x-axis. So x and y. And so if we're taking this entire picture and we're shifting it to the right by 3, since the vertical asymptote is at x equals 0, it's going to be at x equals 3. So we have 1, 2, 3. I'm going to go ahead and draw it here in red. There's our vertical asymptote. And this point here, 1, 0, is also going over 3. So it's going to be at 4, 0 because you just add 3 to the 1. So we're here. And then the graph is going to look something like this. And it goes up forever, and it goes down forever, and it gets infinitely close to that asymptote. So that would be a complete sketch of the graph of f of x equals the natural log of x minus 3. We can now write down the things that were asked for in the question. So the x-intercept, in this case, would be the point 4, 0. So 4, 0. The domain. Well, the domain is all of the x's that you can plug in that make sense. In other words, they give you y values. So it looks like there's nothing over here on the left, so it looks like we start at 3. It would be 3 to infinity. And because we have an asymptote, we don't include the 3. So parentheses, 3 to infinity. Then we have the range. The range is all the possible y values. So the smallest y value, well, it just goes down forever, so it's going to go from negative infinity. And then it goes up forever, so it goes to infinity. So that's the range. We've got the domain. We've got the x-intercept. We're just missing the vertical asymptote, which we can see here in the picture, but we should write down the equation. So I'll abbreviate it as VA, vertical asymptote. And recall that for vertical lines, it's always x equals a number. So in this case, it's x equals 3. That would be the equation of the vertical asymptote. Another way to think about this problem is just look at this graph and think, okay, it's going right 3, so that gives you uh, this vertical asymptote. But notice how this point here is just, it's 1 over, right? It's a distance of 1 from the asymptote. So if this is 3, well, this is 4. It's just always 1 over. So that's a little bit easier than adding 3 to the 1 and getting 4. But same thing, it's always going to be that general shape. So if you would shift it to the right 5, uh, this would be 1 over, it'd be at 6, etc. Hopefully this example has been helpful. Let's do one more example. In this example, we are going to sketch the graph of f of x equals minus log base 2 of x. Let's go ahead and work through its solution. So we'll start by graphing y equals log base 2 of x. So here's the y-axis, and here's the x-axis. So x and y. And this function has a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. And it passes through the point 1, 0. And it looks something like this. 
It goes down forever and gets infinitely close to the vertical asymptote, and it goes up forever. It just grows really, really slow. And this point here is 1, 0. This should look very similar to the graph we drew earlier for LNX. So whenever you have a logarithmic function and the base is bigger than 1, the general shape is going to be this. It's just the bigger the shape, the flatter, the, the flatter it gets, the closer it gets to the x-axis. Which is really nice because once you know the general shape, you can basically do any problem. Even if it says log base 3 of x, this is roughly going to be the general shape. So because we have a minus sign in front of the actual y, in front of the actual function, we're going to reflect across the x-axis. So the trick is, whenever you have a negative in front of a y, you reflect across the other one, so across the x-axis. Just a really nice memory trick. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our graph. So here's the y-axis. Here's the x-axis. So x and y. And since we're reflecting, nothing is really happening to our asymptote. It's staying the same. The asymptote would only change if you move left and right. If you go up and down with the graph, nothing's really going to happen because it's an infinite dotted line. And now we have to reflect this across the x-axis. So it's going to look roughly like this. Beautiful. <laughs> so there we go. And this point here is 1, 0. All right. And that would be the answer. That would be the graph of minus log base 2 of x. So you just reflect it across the x-axis. Hopefully you've learned some math in this video. And I should mention that the most important thing in this video is to note that the general shape of a log function looks like this as long as the base is bigger than 1. Because with this little picture, you can do a lot of the problems and it will help you later when you learn more mathematics. Worth knowing what the log function looks like. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to check out more videos on Chegg. Good luck.